The third scoring criterion under the Areas of Opportunity Selection category is Workforce Housing Communities. This category has two key components, access to fixed transit and walkability. Applicants claim eligibility based on how projects fit into three geographic categories, metropolitan area, greater Minnesota urbanized areas, and greater Minnesota rural and small urban areas. Scattered site projects should use a weighted average for eligibility based upon the total number of units that meet each category. For projects in the metropolitan area, applicants can claim access to fixed transit eligibility under one of five options. Projects within one half mile of a planned or existing light rail transit, bus rapid transit, or commuter rail station can claim seven points and can also claim eligibility under the access to fixed transit strategic priority. Applicants can use the Community Profiles tool to determine eligibility for the project. Applicants can also claim walkability points. Walk scores can be accessed at www.walkscore.com. If applicants would like to request revisions of a location's walk score, contact Walk Score directly at mhfa-request at walkscore.com. Walk Score staff will review the request and make necessary adjustments to scoring within 45 business days. If an address cannot be found in the Walk Score tool, use the closest intersection within one quarter mile of the proposed location. For more information, contact Cody Thurnau at kody.thurnau at state.mn.us. For projects in greater Minnesota urbanized areas, applicants can claim access to fixed transit eligibility under one of three options. Applicants can use the Community Profiles tool to determine eligibility for the project. Applicants can claim walkability points in this geography as well. Walk scores can be accessed at www.walkscore.com. If applicants would like to request revisions of a location's walk score, contact Walk Score directly at MHFA hyphen request at walkscore.com. For more information on adjusting walk scores, contact Cody Thurnau at kody.thurnau at state.mn.us. Lastly, for projects in greater Minnesota rural and small urban areas, applicants can claim access to fixed transit eligibility under one of three options. Note that the supporting documentation for demand response or dial-a-ride must meet the minimum requirements. For example, a dial-a-ride brochure that states that same-day service is available would meet the eligibility requirements. Documentation that states prior day notice is preferred would not be eligible for the seven-point tier. Documentation that is vague or unclear may only be eligible for the two-point tier. Applicants should work with their assigned underwriter with documentation questions. Applicants can claim walkability points in this geography as well. Walk scores can be accessed at www.walkscore.com. If applicants would like to request revisions of a location's walk score, contact Walk Score directly at mhfa request at walkscore.com. For more information on adjusting walk scores, contact Cody Thurnau at kody.thurnau at state.mn.us.